Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Hopefully, you all are having a great, great day. But let's get right on to it. Get right into it. Is it Will Smith? Is it Eddie Murphy? Is it P. Diddy? Is it Usher? Is it Steve Harvey? Is it Nick Cannon? Any of these suspects could have tried to unlive Jamie Foxx. Because he hung around all of them. That's him and his little yacht that he rent, renting, I guess, in New York. Or it could be Miami. I don't know where this was. But um, that was the yacht that he was on. I don't know if it's his or not, but brother is balling. Now, if they want us to think that Jamie, of all people, is posting on his Instagram account, they better come with another thing. Because we are too smart, too educated, and just got common sense that he is not posting. Okay? Now, we know Usher. He, he is tight with P. Diddy. Wonder what he would do for P. Diddy. Okay, so welcome back to the house. We need to get right on into it. We need to have a conversation about this situation because ain't nothing right. Hell, even when the president goes through some stuff, they put out better information than what we get here with Jamie's folks, his PR people. They ain't saying shit. And I'm like, are they saying shit? I ain't saying shit because... Uh, they trying to throw somebody off the track of whether he's doing well or not. Because what I'm hearing out, of, out on those streets, and I mean they are on the streets here of Atlanta, okay? They said he got poisoned. Mm -hmm. They said he got poisoned by somebody. And then all of this is alleged. I have no proof. I have done no research because you know I'm lazy as hell. But the backstabbers are out there. Backstab us. You know what the old days used to say? I keep women. How'd it go? If you really care yeah, what they're doing, you holler, you fellas. You better beware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. And the first person that comes to mind is Nick Cannon. Because <clears throat> while <clears throat> Nick Cannon, I mean, while Jamie is sitting there in the hospital either unalive, which I think, or unconscious, because uh, they can put you in a, a, they call it a coma, but it'd be a medical-induced coma where you're in so much pain, they don't want you to be in pain, so they sedate you. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, but while he's down and out, he's, Nick Cannon wants us to believe that Jamie wanted him to take over in his uh, hosting duties. You know, I think he's on a show called Shazam. And, um, what you call him? <laughs> was basically saying he gonna take his hosting gear for him because Jamie would have wanted it that way. He cleared it with the two daughters. I like Nick Cannon. If you don't sit your fail behind down somewhere, none fathering type of peon, okay? He's just a peon in my book. He go around here having all these damn kids, thinking he have a fortune for all these kids. Ah, oh, man, I mean, is he still doing wilding out? Because I know he ain't doing uh, no television. He, he took his, uh, what do you call it, his talk show that lasted less than six months. They took that shit out of uh, rotation, okay? So what does Nick got going for him? Because now he was already picking at um, Will Smith and Jada and Entanglement and saying he glad to shit off, off the air. Well, we, we, we don't want your podcast to do any uh, any way, shape, form, or fashion well either. Because it seemed like you talking shit just like Jada and, and her mama and her daughter over there talking shit. They were shooting the shit. That's all they were. And then people come over and um, 
lay it all out on their table, meaning therapy. That's basically what they were doing, talk therapy. And you're going to sit up here and tell my oh, uh, Jamie wanted me. That's the big surprise. Man, we don't want, that's your surprise. And are you capitalizing off of Jamie's situation? Okay, so I'm like, why are you moving so fast? Why you even went to the network and say you'll take Jamie Spot until he get back? That that's some shit like Sherry Shepherd did to Wendy Williams, and they don't even know they're being used that way. See, I don't think Sherry knew the possibility of her gonna uh, have that that show slot and her own show. I think it's still right in her lap, and she just made it do what it do. And this damn Nick Cannon, we already know he got no job, okay? He is just living off his investments, pretty much. Now, I don't know if to be true, people. I'm just going with my good hunch. That's it. That's all. But you remember they had this whole thing with Martin going crazy? Y'all remember that? I know y'all remember that now. Don't act like you don't. Yes, Marvin, um, Martin was going crazy. He was in a ski hat. And uh, some uh, jogging uh, clothes and hell, it was like a hundred damn degrees out there. And he running around there with a gun. Now Steve Harvey, I don't like his ass. I don't like him. I don't like. I don't like none of the kings are coming, but Bernie Mac and said to entertain him. And why said hadn't even come out and said nothing? Steve giving us this cryptic shit, like he. Well, we already know he's trying to be a part of and. Well, I just gonna put his ass in there, but he had probably at a lower level. He don't know too much. But when he wants to tell on people, they listen. They listen, okay? And Nick is pretty much either a handler or he he just worked for him too. But he just mowed along around <laughs> And they let him in when they want him to, to do something pretty much, okay? I'm talking about the elite people. The elite people. When they get tired of laughing at you and you're entertaining them through jokes or you're entertaining them through music or whatever your talent may be that they seem to like, once that is settled, said, and done, then you pretty much unalive to them. And they make it happen. Like this brother, I think his name was Michael Williams. I forgot what show he played on. Uh, they might have unalived him as well. Because when people come up with drug overdose, heart attack, stuff like that. That's what the elite thrive on. And see, that's that's probably his backstabber right there. And he probably know how he got in this situation. Uh, me just thinking out, outside of the box, not really having no proof of nothing. But I tell y'all, we come over here and chit-chat. We don't sit up here and say we know unless I tell you. I know for a fact. Like, I know for a fact he's at Piedmont Hospital, okay? Where I used to work. That's, and then he had a bleed, and it had to take the pressure off the uh, the uh, brain, and that's pretty much where we at. And I don't want to know no more, but this guy right here, he's a stand-up man. They tried to say he was in good health, too. And then maybe he was talking about clones and how he knew all of that was true, and he was trying to tell people. He messed up with the wrong person. That was Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey went back to the other folks. Now I'm just speculating. Because there was so much going on at the time. And this is the story that they were pretty much spinning. Okay, the truth, the conspiracy theories, people. Uh-huh. They said, running around there talking about clones. And why they need clones? And we need to tell these folks they're doing something wrong. We don't need that. And next day we know he come up with this disease. And he got taken out quick, fast, and hers. Compliments, allegedly, of Steve Harvey. So I had no love. I ain't, no, I ain't really like him anyway. He wasn't funny to me. It's just like some people like Chris Rock. I can do without it. I can do without it. But what I'm saying here in this video, Jamie had some very precarious people he was hanging around. Some you wouldn't doubt he would have been entangled with. Okay? But he was. And somewhere, somewhere down the line, now you see Madonna, why would him and Madonna hook up at? Why? Why would they even hook up? Anyway, he's hugging your daughter like for dear life. Now, we heard these three, two people talk about you, but they still hadn't did the one thing. They haven't come out their mouth and said, I talked to Jamie myself. Now, you would think if they are cool with Jamie, they don't, you know, uh, shot the shits with him and stuff, performed at his house, did this, that, and the third. Wouldn't somebody out the blue come out and say, I've actually talked to Jamie, and he's a little weak, or he's, oh, his voice is just like nothing has happened, and he's doing well, from what I can tell, because I actually talked to him, and is a conversation like that being had? No, it's not, okay? 
somebody on his PR team or his daughters are ty- typing messages up to us, trying to make us feel and believe that he's okay when he's not okay. Again, I used to work for Piedmont Hospital. All right, that's all I got to say. And I ain't got nothing else to say on this video. Bye-bye.